Hi everybody, today's Tuesday and it's toddler story time today. I'm Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library and we're going to read some stories and sing some songs and have some fun today. I'm going to take off my mask. Since I'm by myself, I can take my mask off. So listen, grab your shaky egg or your shaky bottle, whichever one you have, or you can just shake your hands. All right, we're going to get started. So stand up. Here we go. Today. song so rub your hands together and we're gonna get ready we're gonna wash our hands you should be singing this song when you're washing your hands at home you ready top and bottom top and bottom in between in between rub them close together rub them close together now they're clean now they're clean okay we're gonna wash the other hand top and and bottom top and bottom in between in between rub them close together rub them close together now they're clean now they're clean good job i hope you're washing your hands a lot because i am see how pink and clean my hands are that's because i wash my hands so much Okay, we're gonna do our, our nursery rhyme, which is zoom, zoom, zoom. And it's kind of like the hand washing song. And you're gonna rub your hands together like this. You ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Here we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, blast off! Woo! Good job, let's do it one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Here we go. Five, four, Three, two, one, blast off! Woo! Good job, good job. Okay, I'm gonna move a little closer so I can read our first story today. Our first story is a book about opposites. This book is called A Garden of Opposites. Now, when you're reading books to um, infants and toddlers, you obviously wanna find books that have bright colored pictures. 
And yes, the book of opposites are for older kids, but the pictures in this book were nice and bright, and it had some very common um, things in the picture because when you read a book for um, infants and toddlers, you don't just read the story or the words, but you read the pictures. You point out things in on the book, in the book as you go. So that's why I picked this book. So you'll notice that I do read the words, but I also read the pictures. A Garden of Opposites. Oh, look, she has a pink butterfly in her hand. She has freckles on her nose. Do you have freckles? I do. Short, long. Look, that's a, that is an inchworm. He only has feet on the front and the back and he is red. And this is a snake and he is green. Inside, outside. So inside the apple there are seeds and they're black and there's a leaf and this is an apple, a red apple. Big, little. That green bug is big and that little bug is a ladybug. That's a ladybug. Different, one is green and one has stripes. Alike, they're both green and they both have stripes. That is a four leaf clover. One, two, three, four. Oh, and that's only a three leaf clover. Plain. There's a butterfly, and he's plain. Maybe he's a moth. Ooh, fancy. That's a fancy butterfly. Look, he has antennas, and they're curly. Asleep. Shh. That bluebird's asleep on her eggs. Look, she has three eggs. Awake. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at those little baby birds. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Dull, sharp. Ooh, you need to be careful with scissors. They're sharp. They could cut you. Open, closed. Open, closed. That flower is open. This flower is closed. In, look, she has a jar that's full of ladybugs. Look out here in her garden. She has some carrots. There's some birds flying around. In, the butterflies are in the jar. Oh, and now they're out. There they go, Whoosh, flying through the air. Look, there's some apples in the apple tree. Hmm. Look, there's a bunny rabbit. I bet he's going to look for some carrots. And if you look really close in the garden, there's a snail. Goodness, that was a good book. Ooh, there's a butterfly. Meow, 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 meow. He's pretty. And there's a ladybug, and there's a ladybug, and there's a ladybug. Ladybugs can fly too. That's a fun book to read. I like ladybugs. Okay, you need to get out your scarf. If you don't have a scarf at home, you can use a washcloth or a dish towel, either one. But if you have a scarf from your story time bag, get your scarf out, okay? All right. Shake out your wrinkles while I'm finding the music, okay? Shake it out. I was listening to a different song to start off with. All right, shake it, shake it. We're gonna go round and round. Here we go. Knees. Put your hands up on 
one more time. Round and round. Round and round. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Up in the air. Wind it back again. Wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling. Point to the floor. Over to the window. There's the door. Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Pat your knees. Oh, good job. All right, shake your wrinkles out. We're going to scrunch it and toss it, so shake them out. Okay, here we go. You ready? We're going to scrunch it up. Scrunch up your, uh, your uh, scarf. Scrunch it all up in there. Get it all scrunched into a ball. Got it? Hold on a minute. Push my glasses up. Okay, you ready? Here we go. We're going to count to five, and then we're going to toss it and catch it. Here we go. One, two, wait a minute. I can't hear you counting. You need to count louder. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! <laughs> okay, shake it a little bit and get your wrinkles out of there. Did you catch yours? I caught mine. Here we go. Scrunch it up. Scrunch it. This is my favorite part. I like to scrunch it up. Here we go. You ready? We're going to count to five. One, nice and loud. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, whew. Let's shake it out a little bit. We're going to do it one more time. All right, here we go. Ready? Scrunch it up. Scrunch it and scrunch it. Listen, if you don't have a story time bag, get a hold of me and I'll make arrangements for you to come by the library and pick one up. It has a scarf and a shaky egg. Um, when fall session starts in a couple weeks, I'll add some things to it. If you've already had a bag, then you can just pick up a bag of supplies for story time that will start um, in September. So here we go. We're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. You are so awesome. Okay, put your scarf aside and I'm going to come and read another book. This book's called Down by the Barn. This book's called Down by the Barn. Will Hillebrand is the author of this book. <clears throat> Down by the Barn. Early in the morning, see the little wagons all in a row. There's a scarecrow. There's a crow. Look, that scarecrow's reading a book. Puff, puff, clink, clank, off we go. Oh, I missed this part. See the tractor driver pull his little lever. Puff, puff, clank, clank, off we go. There's some cows. Down by the cows, early in the morning, see the little calf waiting to go. See the tractor driver pull his little lever, puff, puff, clank, clank, moo, moo, off we go. Down by the chickens, early in the morning, see the little chick waiting to go. See the tractor driver pull his little lever, puff, puff, click, clank, moo, moo, peep, peep, off we go. Look, they're all riding in the wagons. And there's the little mom. There's the rooster. He's the dad. Roosters are boys. And there's the hen. That's a girl. Down by the pigs. Early in the morning, see the little piglet waiting to go. See the tractor driver pull his little lever. Puff, puff, clink, clank, moo, moo, peep, peep, wee, wee, off we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Down by the goose or the geese, early in the morning, see the little gosling ready to go. This is the gosling right here. He's a baby, baby goose. See the tractor driver pull his little lever, 
puff, puff, clink, clank, moo, moo, peep, peep, wee, wee, honk, honk, off we go. Look how crowded it is. There's all kinds of things in there. Down by the sheep, early in the morning, see the little lamb waiting to go. See the tractor driver pull his little lever, puff, puff, clink, clank, moo, moo, peep, peep, wee, wee, honk, honk, ba ba. Off we go. Look who's following him. It's a fox. Down by the goats, early in the morning, see the little kid waiting to go. The little kid is the baby goat. He's called a kid. See the tractor driver, pulls little lever, puff, puff, clink, clank, moo, moo, peep, peep, wee, wee, honk, honk, ba, ba, nay, nay. Off we go. Uh-oh. Who's trying to get the little chick? It's the fox. Oh, look. He got hit with a bucket of water. The little kid, or the goat, kicked the bucket and it splashed right on the fox. Splat. <laughs> look at that. It's a bucket on his head. And there they go. Down by the cats, early in the morning, see the little kitten waiting to go, see the tractor driver pull his little lever. Puff, puff, clink, clank, moo, moo, peep, peep, wee, wee, honk, honk, ba, ba, nay, nay, meow, meow, off we go. There's that, there's that crazy fox. He's still chasing him. Look, that, what's that? It's a school bus. Down by the children's barn, early in the morning, see the baby animals exit in a row, see the tractor driver pull his little lever, puff, puff, clink, clank, here at last. Look, all the animals came out, and here's the kids getting off the school bus. They're going to visit all the baby animals. They must be spending the day on the farm. And the scarecrow's reading them all a story. Isn't that nice? Look who's sitting there with the bucket on his head. Oh, that fox. Down by the barn. Did you notice that some of my animals are gone today? I just have my little dog, my little goat over here, and my and Rosie Bear and the sun, because I have them all sitting down here, because we're gonna sing a little song. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. We're going to start with, what's this? What is this? This is the boy. Do you remember what he's called? He's a rooster. The rooster says, what does a rooster say? Cock-a-doodle-doo. The rooster says, cock-a-doodle-doo. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. Here we go. The cow says, oh, what does a cow say? What's a cow say? Wait, I have to put my hand in there. The cow says, moo. The cow says, moo. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. Oh, let's see what the next one's going to be. What is this one? What is this? What is he? He's, he's your favorite. Here he is, the pig. Oh, you ready? The pig says, the pig says, when the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. Let me see what's next. What is this? Oh, he's so soft and squishy. What is this? It's a sheep. That's right. What does a sheep say? Do you remember? A sheep says, bah. A sheep says, b b bah. Remember, a sheep says b b ba, and a goat, whoop, a goat says m a, but a sheep says b b b ba. Good job. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. 
When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. Oh, let me see. What is this one? He is, what is he? He kind of looks like a horse, but he's got longer ears and he's got bigger teeth. What is he? He's a donkey. The donkey says, bray. The donkey says, bray. He's got his big teeth. Hmm. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. I have one more. What's this one? Oh, lots of these are on the farm because they have to catch all the mice that are trying to eat the corn. What is it? It's a kitty cat. The cat says, what does the cat say? He says, meow. The cat says, meow. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. When the animals get up in the morning, they always say good day. Good job singing that song. That's one of the songs that we like to sing quite a bit. So I have one more book to read. This is a fun book. Not that they're not all fun, but this one's fun. This one's called Five Little Monkeys Jump in the Bath. Five Little Monkeys Eat Ice Cream. Let me scoot a little bit over. Five Little Monkeys Eat Ice Cream. Lick, slurp, slop, drip, drop. Oh my, look how messy they are. They are really messy. Then five little monkeys see a mud puddle. Slippy, sloppy, goopy, gloppy. Five icky, sticky, yucky, mucky monkeys. Oh no, gasped mama. They're yucky, they're just covered in mud. Bath time for monkeys. Five icky, sticky, yucky, mucky monkeys take off their icky, sticky, yucky, mucky clothes. Five icky, sticky, yucky monkeys jump into the tub. Splish, splatter, splash, wash and scrub. Five little monkeys are scrubbed and clean. Sopping, dripping, sliding, slipping. Oh, oops. Look how two of them fell down. Oh, no. The monkey who slipped have a good cry. Sobbing, crying, hugging, drying. Five little monkeys sip soup for supper. Sip, slurp, slop, drip, drop. Thank you, mama. Soup's delicious. Lots of hugs and sticky kisses. Oops. Oh, goodness. They're messy monkeys. Icky, sticky, yucky, mucky. Bath time for monkeys. They're going to have to take another bath. Those crazy monkeys. Okay, put one hand way up high. We're going to wave goodbye. We're going to do ring around the rosy first. Here we go. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Boing, 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 boing. One more time. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Boing. Now put one hand way up high. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high and wave down low. Wave real fast, uh, and wave real slow. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high, wave down low. Wave goodbye, I'll miss you so. Mm, love you, be good listeners today, and have a wonderful day.